welcome to another Let's Play. This is Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is once again another game that I've had on my channel, but have not Let's Played. I've only done a walkthrough. Um, so I'm gonna go right in, and we are going to put Daniel... Or should I put D Helm? I'll put D-Helm. All caps! Boom. Um, let's see, Zelda Ocarina of Time was the first Zelda game to go 3D, it's for Nintendo 64, uh, came out in 1998, the same year I was born, AO. Um, let's see, I grew up playing this game, it's my favorite of the Zeldas, I'm wanting to say. Um, what else can I say about it? Uh, I've played it numerous times. Uh, it's ridiculous, probably, how many times I've played through the entire game. 100% at that. It's not like I was just sitting there like, oh, I'll grab this and that. No, I went 100%. That means, like, all Golden Skultulas, uh, or Skaltulas. No, I think they're called Golden Skultulas, actually. Um... All pieces of heart, every upgrade, everything. Um, but I've played this game probably a good 30 or 40 times, um, and <laughs> I'm only 17. Uh, so, <laughs> um, I'm sure I'll play it hundreds of times before I die as well. Um, let's see, what else, what else can I say? It's, a uh, it's a pretty simple game, I'd say. There's nothing very difficult about it. It's one of the easier Zeldas, as long as you kind of know what you're doing, that is. Um, and trust me, if you don't know what you're doing, you'll find out really easily, because Navi, if you've never played a Zelda game, uh, you've probably still heard of Navi sitting there, screaming at you to listen because she knows exactly what you need to do a hundred percent of the time she knows um, but uh, other than that really we just need to get started yes now this game ha how many in the vast deep forest of Hyrule long have I served as the guardian spirit I am known as the Deku tree now what I used to do, I used to call it the Dooku Tree for some reason. It's not spelt that way, but I would call it the Dooku Tree, and I called everything Dooku. Children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. That's me! Also known as Link, because I am possessing his body. <laughs> Uh, that would shiver. That would send shivers down my back as well if I was possessing my own body. And I was actually a video game character and didn't know who I was. Now I actually wish I was doing the 3DS version of this. Um, the 3DS version of this game is wonderful. I've loved, I've loved it. Get it. Things don't bode well. Ganon's in the picture. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. And I will be doing the game 100% in this Let's Play. This is also the second time that I'll be doing this this year. Um, a while back you may have seen on my channel that I was doing the original Zelda and Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, and then all of a sudden, it just was erased from my channel and I started doing other things. Basically what happened was, I completed both of them the same weekend that I did Castlevania. And, um, basically what happened was, I was able to save the Castlevania files, but my computer crashed, and all the files for Zelda and Zelda Ocarina of Time were deleted. So that kind of happened, and I had completed the game 100%, everything, and I had skills, man. It was a very fluid... Uh, I'm wanting to say I didn't die once. 
I did not die a single time. It was I was pretty good. I had skills. I'd say that. Um, which is not that doesn't happen often with me. Um, but yeah, what basically happened was uh, the computer crashed. I lost all the files, and then I was like, I'm not replaying these games right now because I had done it a hundred percent, and I was kind of mad. Um, so I just moved on. Anyway, oh, Navi the Fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevol malevolent forces, even now, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the f source of life, has stood as a barrier to turning outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But... Before this tremendous Eve power, even my power is nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule's path of justice and truth. Nami, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Nami, fly! The fate of the forest, nay, the world, depends upon thee. I love this game. Da -na 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 and this looks really cool in the 3DS version. I know I, even with the 3DS, I wouldn't be able to record the game in 3D as far as I know. Um, I wouldn't be able to record it with the 3D. But with a 3D on and going through this forest, because this was the first game that I got on my 3DS. Because I got it the same weekend I got... Uh, when I got my 3DS, I got Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance and this game. Um, I'm wanting to say. Or did I get this? I got Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance for sure. I'm wanting to actually say I might have gotten... I got Pokemon Mystery Dungeon that came with the DS because it was the uh, bundle that came with uh, the Pikachu edition of the Extra Large... Uh, 3DS Pikachu Edition. Why don't you say I got Gates of Time for that, and Dream Drop Distance. My parents got that for me. I actually think I did not get this until Christmas. But I remember actually opening up and doing that fairy flying thing, turning up that 3D and just looking at it in awe. I was a very happy boy. Hello, D Helm. Wake up. The great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. D Helm, get up. The music was also really well done in the remake. Hey, come on. Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? It can. Hello, me. Here I am. I'm just sitting there like five more minutes, Navi, please. And you'll quickly notice I probably will not once listen to what Navi has to say. You finally woke up, then I'm Navi the Fairy. Uh, the Great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The Great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's go get going right now. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, you'll quickly notice as well, I've sort of redone my channel. Instead of doing... Uh, uh, playlist for each of those little sections below. Uh, I've kind of packed them together. Um, Yahoo! Hi, Dio! Uh, basically what I've done is, like, I have all my Zelda games as one of the, uh, the rows for playlists. And, uh, basically, that's how I'm setting it up. So if I have a series of, like, games, like, Legend of Zelda, eventually I'll do Mario and have the Mario series set up there. Uh, Silent Hills, I'll probably have a series set up there. And, uh, let's see, Final Fantasies, because I, I plan on doing a whole bunch of Final Fantasies. Um, at least to seven. I know I'm at least doing seven, because that's one of the games that I was starting my channel. I was kind of like, I want to do this really bad, but I never had the, uh, 
Or, first of all, I like doing... I started uh, with the first one, and then I did Ocarina of Time as a walkthrough. And then I went to Zelda 2, and then I kind of started doing them in order from that point. Sort of. Not really, though. Um, but I enjoy doing my games in order. And I know I've... Like, with the Metroids, that's another one that I'll probably set up as playlist. With the Metroid games, I know I did not do them in order. Uh, because the first one I did was Zero Mission, which is technically the first game. Um, because it's like the first game with a little addition at the end. Um, but I have done the first game now. And then I did Fusion. So that's out of order. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of setting up my channel a different way. Uh, but not entirely. Like, I'll have the Zelda playlist instead of actually throwing Zelda games onto that, the, uh, section down there. Um, I'll throw the Final Fantasy games in the same, a similar style. And, uh, the Metroid games. I know those three series for sure. Um. So, that's there. I'm, I'm thinking about doing some new channel art as well. Um, because it, that, the channel art I have on there right now is sloppy, and that's because basically when I was scanning that picture in, it wasn't wanting to work for me. So basically what I ended up doing was I went on MS Paint and uh, used that instead. And so now it looks very choppy because I don't know how to use a mouse. <laughs> um, so yeah, sorry about that. I'm going to probably update it soon. Um, anyway, so, done about that. Basically, what my goal right here is, is right now I'm trying to get 40 rupees and the sword, because in order to get to the Great Deku Tree, there's a guy named Nito, who is blocking our path. And he's gonna be all like, yo, you should at least have a sword and, a sword, a sword and shield before trying to go here. Um, so that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna shock him. We're gonna surprise him that we already have both items. Um, just because I know that I need to get them. What? No, I don't know I need to get them. This is a blind let's play, obviously. Welcome to my blind let's play of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This game looks wonderful so <laughs> far. Let's see, chest, Kokiri sword right up here. But yeah, I know this game basically like the back of my hand. Even with the Water Temple, the Water Temple does not give me issues anymore. It used to. Um, like, it used to be the bane of my existence, but it's actually really simple. Um, like, it's not really simple the first time, of course. But, uh, after you've done it a couple times, you kind of get the rhythm. And, you know, that, that always works out. Um, or, that always also seems to be the case, because you know what you're doing at that point. Even with a place like the Water Temple, you, if you're confused on where to go, don't feel bad, because that place is... It's, it's hard to navigate, that is for sure. Um, no, I'm not gonna come look at you. Sorry. Um. Dun 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 dun. And there's the time machine. see, um, when I was growing up, for some reason I would always pronounce any of the Deku words as Dooku. I don't understand why, but it would be like, I'm gonna go see the great Dooku tree. And these deck, the, the Dooku shields. I can't say it now because I'm used to saying Deku because I switched. I switched my uh, <laughs> my speech. All right, Mito. Hey, you, Mr. No Fairy. What's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Um, sir, I'd have you know I am now rocking a fairy. I hate her, but you know I'm rocking a fairy. Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. What? You've got a fairy? Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually sub you? What? Yeah. What up? What you gotta say now, huh? Huh? 
Why would he summon you and not the great Nido? This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the great Deku Tree without both a sword and a shield ready? What? You're right. I don't have my equipment ready, but... If you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Sheesh. I forgot to equip her. <laughs> we could have passed that. Uh... Whoa, that's a graphic error. This isn't cool. I should have known that, though. We're gonna save, yes. Ooh, that means that's... No, the map's fine. Okay, well, I'm gonna go try and fix that graphic error real quick. So, I'm gonna pause, and I will see you guys in a moment. Hello, and welcome. Well, anyway, I'm back. Excuse me. And now I'm in Nintendo Land. Um, yeah, I couldn't get everything to work on the emulator, so I was just kind of like, well, here I am. Here I've got uh, my Wii hooked up using my Dazzle through Pinnacle Studio, and now I've got my GameCube version of the game that I am playing off of. Um, that has no glitching or anything, so now we can equip these things. Haha! -ha. Save, yes. And I have to wait for the save screen. Which sucks. Hey, I'm on a GameCube controller, and it's been forever since I've used one. I think the last time I used one was when I played Super Mario Sunshine. Um, when did I play that? Over the summer. So I guess it's not been too long. It's been months though, and so I'm I'm kind of like messing around with it, trying to remember things. That's a map. Right. Anyway, if you want to see the Great Deku Tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Eh? What's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief. What are you, Charlie Brown? Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the Great Mito, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how do you get to be the favorite of Saria and the Great Deku Tree, huh? Grumble, grumble. Alright, so onward to the Great Deku Tree. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. Uh, these are Deku Babos. Basically, cut them down and we get Deku Sticks. You got a Deku Stick. Which can be set on fire, etc. Alright, so it's actually been a while since I was playing. Um or let's playing um, because I had to go eat dinner and such and so now I'm back uh, great Deku tree I'm back I don't even remember what I was talking about the last time oh Navi thou hast returned the helm welcome listen carefully to what I the great Deku or the Deku tree I'm about to tell thee Thy slumber of these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. You calling me sensitive? I'm not soft, okay? Verily, thou hast felt it. Dehelm, the time has gone to test thy courage. Did I say gone? The time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. <laughs> so, uh, Deku Tree the Cursed. Dost thou have courage enough to, to undertake this task? Of course. Because if I said no, then <laughs> we would be sitting here a while. Then enter, brave Dehome, and thou too, Navi. Navi the Fairy, thou must aid Dehome. And Dehel, when Navi speaks, use... No, 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 I don't care. I will never listen to what Navi has to say. There's no point. I know what I'm doing. Into the mouth we go. The first dungeon at that. Ooh. Inside the Great Duke's right. 
Okay, so first of all, we're gonna climb up here. Um, another thing. So, since I'm doing this 100%, right? Uh, that means I have to collect all the gold skulltulas. I believe what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave all of them, not collect a single one till a certain point. I don't know when that point will be, but I don't know. I will collect all of them, though. I just probably won't collect the majority of them until I get to a certain point. And then, um, basically what I'm going to end up doing is collecting a whole bunch of them in a video. So, I think that's the plan. Navi, quiet yourself. I understand how to open a door. Let me continue on with my adventure. Thank you. Alright, so easiest way to deal with these, this is Deku Scrub. Walk up to him while you shoot it, and you'll basically make it up to him before he has a chance to start running away. If he does run away, stand on his pod, and he won't be able to come back, but whenever he tries to come back, basically, he'll be forced into this conversation with you. Ow, 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 forgive me, master. For If I give you a clue, will you let me go? When you jump off a high cliff, if you hold forward, you will roll on the ground. This is basically just a tutorial dungeon. It tells you things um, that you need to know. Can't guarantee it will work, though, if the cliff is really, really high. <laughs> well, try it if you're feeling bold. I feel bold most of the time. Whee! Funny thing about this room, right? So I used to think that that platform there was required to get out of the room. And I'd always dodge it because uh, the first few times that I played the game, um, I was an unobservant child. And by the way, we got the fairy slingshot. Um, I was an unobservant child. And so I'd get stuck in this room and not know how to escape. And I'd end up in here for like maybe half an hour. I'd get frustrated and just turn the machine off. When, in order to escape, there's this ladder right there. So I go to my little menu screen. I suppose it's right here, actually. You just, boom, done. That's how you escape the room. <laughs> but I used to think you needed that platform in the room. So I started dodging it for the longest amount of time. And then, like, I was just like, one playthrough all of a sudden, I was just like, was that ladder? I think I actually, I played the Master Quest version of the game, and then I noticed that it was there. I was just like, huh, I, whoa, wait a minute. That's there? That kind of thing. I felt so dumb afterwards. So I was just kind of like, you have to go, and, I, <laughs> and if you might, uh, if you've seen my walkthrough for the game, um, you might have noticed that that happened. I might have done that in that playthrough, <laughs> where I just, I completely, and you can't ignore the ladder, like I said, because that's what I used to do all the time, was just use the, uh, use the platform to get back. Um, but yeah, I might have, even in my walkthrough, decided to go, oh, by the way, I need to do this. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna skip across here. Yeah, you won't see me as much probably explain what I'm doing in the game uh, through this walkthrough just because I know exactly what I'm doing uh, for the most part. So I'm not going to read a lot of like the item dialogue and stuff like that um, because it's probably because it seems pretty obvious to me. Uh, I might like name off some of these like that was a giant Skulltula, I believe. Or a big skull. Throw. This is another Deku Baba, but it has a different attack style. It lunges at you, and when you kill it, it drops Deku Nuts. Um, but yeah, you'll notice with the, with this game probably I will not nearly as much try and like explain like, oh, I'm getting this torch and I'm gonna go over here. Nah, uh, I'll probably just talk about random subjects to be honest. Um. Because if I just started talking about what was going on in the game, that would probably uh, become quite repetitive and dull. Um, let's see. Yep, big Skulltula. I was right. Anyway. 
Uh, I just felt like killing it with a stick. Deku Seeds. Deku Seeds are your ammunition for the slingshot. Okay, and in order to continue on, we're going to jump out here. Whee! Now, I know, like, in speedrunning, like, if you're really good, you're actually able to, uh, glitch yourself onto that, uh, that platform over there, which is our goal. We're trying to get around over to there and then drop down, because that's where the boss is at. But I am not a speedrunner. I can't do that kind of stuff. Although, I am excited about one of the speedrun tactics in Luigi's Mansion that was recently found. You can beat the game in like 11 minutes. Um, according to this new speedrunning technique, technique uh, where basically, uh, after you've killed or captured Chansey, the uh, giant baby, Basically, after you've done that, oh, that was dumb. After you've done that, um, before you pick up the key to the second area, it you can glitch it to where you go through the wall. And if you go through the wall, you can glitch yourself all the way through into the final room with King Boo. Um, and you'll fight him right then and there. Uh, please forgive me, Master. I'll never do it again. Uh, you would never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is 231. That used to be my address number. 231. Back in, I believe, Gardner. When I used to live there. I did used to live there. It's been forever since I've been there, though. It's been, what? I was in 6th grade at the time. Probably left when I was in 8th grade. So, and I'm a senior this year. Let's see. That would probably make it three, four years. Skipping this platform. We have to press the button first to lower the water level. Um, but yeah, 231 used to be one of my addresses. Right now, my I'm so lucky for my address right now, uh, for all the college and scholarship forms that I'm filling out, because it's 101. It's so easy to use. It's just like 101. Now, I might have already said this. I can't remember because uh, I actually can remember some of the stuff that I brought up when I was doing the Let's Play the first time, like I mentioned earlier in the video. Or in the previous video, I don't know how long this is. And like I said, with my new uh, recording style, uh, I record in bulk. So, I don't know how many videos has passed. <laughs> um, but... Basically, uh... Oh god, what was I going on about? Probably something. I don't know. Maybe he'll come back to me. Ah! Ah! Well, I'm probably going to lose that stick. The easiest way to conserve sticks, if you never want to lose a stick and it's caught on fire, just pull out your sword real quick. It's the easiest way to conserve one. Of course, it doesn't work 100% of the time. I need my slingshot out. There we go. Now, you might notice, there's the shadows on the floor. Yep. Ooh, wasted one. I'm not nearly as good with the speedrunning tactics used in some of the Zelda games, though. Like, in the boss battle here, with the Goma battle, apparently you can, like, stun her, and, uh... What the heck? Wow, I don't even care. They're not gonna cause me any issues anyway. This is to prepare for later. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything over there yet. 
you might notice that there is a bomb wall, and there is. But I don't care about the monsters that just fell from the ceiling. Uh, they're not going to cause me any problems. I'm not going to fight a single one of them. Or at least I don't plan to. It might happen in the Goma battle. But yeah, you're apparently in the Goma battle, you can stun her, and she doesn't even get the chance to move and progress through the battle. You can just kill her sitting there in one, one go. You just slash, slash, and you can drop a Deku nut, and then slash, slash, and then it's done. I don't know how they do it, because I've never actually gotten any use out of the Deku nuts. Um, I've just never been able to use them effectively. Ha! Barely. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Anyway, password 231. Oh, too close. Boom. No, oh, come on. Come on, buddy. Boom. How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. In order to administer the Coupe de Grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she is stunned. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. Yeah, I bet you are. But I have no clue how to do that speedrunning tactic. Um, it's a concept foreign to me. trapped inside. Uh, this is one thing that I like about this version, opposed to the 3DS version. The 3DS version, you, the room basically doesn't get dark at all. Like, it does a little bit, but not to the caliber of, like, the original time I was playing this. Original time playing this, I had no clue what to do in this room. Um, and I didn't have the sound on at the time. Uh, I think I was trying to hide from my parents. Uh, I wanted to play the game really, really early, before school, and I was sitting there playing on, on my TV with the sound all the way off, and I got into this room, and I was sitting there, like, I have no clue what to do, and then eventually I saw this, <laughs> and I was kind of like, oh, that's what I gotta do. In the 3DS version, though, it, you can see the walls and everything, you can see her walking around up there. Anyway, this is Queen Goma, and like I said, basically, there's a way to stun her right here, to where she, with the Deku nut, that she doesn't even get the chance to start uh, going up the walls or anything. I don't know how to do it, though. Like, I was playing it on my 3DS the other day, uh, to practice for this Let's Play. I didn't know how to do it then, either. Not that the battle takes me long, see, I got it done. I got it done now. But, uh... I just don't understand how to do it, uh, in the sense of... Doing it that quick for the speedrun or anything. And a first heart container. You get a lot of them in this game. I think there's like, uh, what is it, 24? 24 heart containers. 